games in general, gamers, gamers communities, have disliked NFTs from the start. Okay. So I think there's a prejudice there. And I think with some reason, if you go into other industries, creative industries, whether it's, you know, 3D art, whether it's music, um, and other sort of characterized collectibles, I think NFTs are more warmly, have been more warmly received. But outside of, you know, collecting and speculation, right? Those two things. I mean, behind you is a great example of, and, my, and me, is an example of us collecting stuff because we have an attachment to it. We have an affinity with it and an empathy with it. But we don't do a lot. I mean, you, you like, and I've taken a couple of my stuff, my things out of the boxes. You haven't. That's sort of about as far as it goes. Um, I think that NFTs need a bit more utility. I think that will come. Whether NFTs ever make it in games, um, at the moment, I think the foot, the foot is well off the gas for, for the reasons that we've explained. But I think long term, blockchain, blockchain's here. Okay, in our world, and um, in my view, it's it's here. Whether it's here and it's going to be significant in games, I don't know. But it's going to be significant in the lives that we lead, and you know whether that's kind of like you know your gas bill or you know how you buy your car or rent your car. I don't know, but there's there's going to be utility there, and it's going to be benefit for consumers. And I think that's the key thing. What is the benefit for a consumer?